I hope she's here. I heard her testify on Sunday morning. Susan Hammer, are you here? Come here, Susan. Now, this is amazing. What did we do with the um, snapshot? Oh, okay, we've, we've got it, okay. Can we get a picture? Come on up here. Can we get a picture of this? Uh, because if you see this and hear this story, this is amazing. Okay, now just hold it there. This, how many, how many pop cans is that that you're dealing with? It, there, that's 10,000. She's got bags full of pop cans. There were also some beer bottles and some beer cans. And, I mean, you know, you're wondering, well, what's she doing all these? That's how you got here. Yeah. Come here. This is amazing. So you wanted to come to this conference. Yeah, I've been wanting to come since last year's releasers. But you didn't have the money. Not this year. Now, some people just say, you know, they just sit there and they say, God, if you want me to come, just give me the money. But you, you got a little aggressive. Yeah. And you did some. Tell them what you did. Don't, come stand here. <laughs> Tell them what you did. Um, I don't know. Where do you want me to start? Well, I mean, explain the, the, beer, the, the pop can thing. Well, I was originally just saving it up for extra money to come, like just spending money kind of thing. But um, when I found out closer to the time that I couldn't come at all because I didn't have enough money, um, I only had like 1,600 pop cans at the beginning of June. So You only had 1,600 pop cans. Now, see, most people, that's well, a lot. Converting it into money-wise, can I just see my... Yeah. It worked out to $28.80. wasn't going to get me too far. Because so for for it, for sixteen hundred pop cans, you get what fifty four cents a pound. That's how they do it. Yeah. Right. How many knew that? How many knew you could? Watch, you're going to hang on to these pop cans now. <laughs> that gets better. Okay. okay, that works out to about fifty four cents, which is uh, probably about thirty pop cans, roughly. A pound is roughly thirty pop cans. <laughs> so for thirty pop cans, you get about fifty four cents. Yeah, so I figured I needed 10,000 pop cans to cover my re registration and my tie. Like, I needed my tie to cover. But you have to tie the pop cans. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I said, Lord, I, if you want, really want me to come, I need 10,000 pop cans. But I asked for 10,000, but I forgot I had the 1,600. So you were, really, you were praying for pop cans. Basically, yeah. <laughs> How... <laughs> How many have ever prayed for a pop can? <laughs> well, well, but you prayed for full ones, didn't you? No, really? Have you done this? Yes. Oh, you have? Okay. Well, see, I've never heard of this before. I think this is amazing. Because God gives people creative ideas, you know? So, <laughs> so anyways, after that, because I've been preparing for this like three months, because I've been doing that search for significance thing. And I found out it was part of the Father Heart of God thing, so I really wanted to come. So Can I ask you, like, where would you get, in, like, a thousand pop cans or ten thousand? Where, where do you get these? Well, I was really blessed. They just showed up, so. <laughs> now, now, explain that. How do you mean they just showed up? Plus, the high school drinks a lot of pop. So, um, basically... Um, they started showing up in my bail box at church. Um, just, I don't know, everywhere. So people knew you were collecting them, and they just yeah. did. Basically, I got most of them from the high schools, because I live in Exeter, and I work in Clinton, so I had, like, four or five, like, public and high schools to work with, plus some. Um, I was actually in two garbage <laughs> recycle bins. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vanastra, there's two small towns, and they don't have the blue boxes. So they have just one big community bin, and, but it's separated, okay? There's no garbage in these things except plastic and stuff. So I actually got in the bins, and I got permission from the town um, to go into the bins. 
went to the town and said, can I have permission to go into these garbage bins to get the pop cans? What did they say? I said, I need a lot of pop cans in a month. And if, is it okay if I go get the pop cans? And I explained that I wanted it for a Christian women's conference, and they said, okay. Were they, were they surprised? Did they think that was strange? Well, yeah, kind of strange. But <laughs> I kind of think it's strange myself, so I can't expect them to... <laughs> So, what happens after this? Uh, within 10 days, I had like 10,000 pop cans. Plus, plus the 1,600 I already had, because I asked him for 10,000, but I needed 10,000. That was factoring in the 1,600. So, like, I had like within less, I'd say less than 15 days, because I started on the third, and I, yeah, I had 10,000 pop cans. So... But it didn't stop there. No, because I still needed camping and food expenses and stuff. And I honestly thought I'd have to pay for lunch, but then when I wrote to check out to send the re registration in, which is a real, um, um, I saw well included, so I just had to worry about supper. So um, what I did was, actually, when I took the first 10000 in, I phoned and I said, um, I asked them what time they were open till, and they s told me, and I said, is, there, is it still 54 cents a pound? And he, they said, no, it was a, he was having a good day. It would be 57 cents a pound. So I got a bit more than I thought I would get, which is a blessing. Because I paid for my tithe, my registration, and somebody to help me crunch these things. So, so you have to crunch all of these cans? <laughs> I crunched every can. I'm telling you, all my spare time was devoted to crunching pop cans. There. So you mean they don't take them if they're in well, good shape? Yeah, but if it would work out to more than 20 bags, I mean. Oh, sure. So, yeah, I had to squish them. <laughs> so I figured, okay, let's see what happened, because I had till the end of the month. So um, I just want to see how many more pop cans God would give me. It was kind of getting interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> in fact, we, we, we came to the Joy Conference two weeks ago, was it? And um, I was telling uh, this couple that was from Montana, the Montana, my story on the bus, and I said they'd just come up my way. From, from Exeter to, to here, which is a two-hour drive, I got like 25 more pop cans because they all started passing them up for me when they were done drinking. Just on the bus. Yeah, and it was really hard for me that night because there was a whole bunch of pop cans all over this place from the Joy Conference, and I just... <laughs> to load up the bus, but I figured I'd be out there all night, not in the meeting, so I had to really, really restrain. It was bad. <laughs> so I've been kind of collecting them while I'm here, but not as vigorously. Anyway, last Friday, I took my last load in, and the grand total altogether was like 18,500 pop cans, so that more than covered everything. Plus, um, my friend wanted to bless me with the conf for the conference, too, and uh, I said, well, I told her about the pop cans, and I told her I had more than enough with the pop cans, but she still wanted to bless me. So um, uh, she deposited some money in my bank account last week, and it covered the expenses. Um, like, I w I'm not working this week, and I had expenses next week, and um, that covered that, like the money blessing. So all told, it came to like $604. Okay, now, 88 cents. 88 cents. Okay, here, <laughs> here's the question. So that, I mean, you went way over what you really thought would happen and all the needs were met. But my question is now, you know, you're here, everything's been met. When you see an empty pop can sitting there, how, how, how do you feel? Uh, I don't, I leave a lot of them, but I, I admit I've taken the odd one. <laughs> yeah, so you got a thing about the pop cans, haven't you? Well, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> I think, is that amazing? But I've, I've got a little bit more time. I want to come to the Father Loves You conference. That's not until November, so God knows how many I'll have by then. So you're putting out the word. You need more cans. Well, yeah, but it won't be as vigorous as it was. Hopefully. I've been really blessed. I had a place to store them all. You, it's right, you'd have to have... You couldn't put them in your house. I live out on a farm with my friend, and she's got a lot of room for empty pop cans. And she doesn't mind this? Well, she's starting to get used to it. 
well, why don't you come down here and let's get some of the folks to just, from the ministry team, to just come and pour into her. This is amazing. And you ladies do the same thing. You collect pop cans? Uh, is a pastor's wife here or a leader? Come, come here. Come here. She just said, now this is, you're going to get more than you bargained for. She said they built a new building for their church. Oh, you're trying to. Oh, so there's going to be a little competition on pop cans. Come here. <laughs> c c come here, please. Where are you from? I'm from, I'm from upstate New York. What, what's the name of the place? Um, Queensbury. And you're the wife of a pastor? Yes. In what church? Queensbury Church of the King. And what kind of church is that? A wild one. A wild church. <laughs> How many, how many are here? You're from a wild church. 